Hey, welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. Checking out one of my favorite guitars of all time today, the Firebird 5. This one from Epiphone, done in collaboration between Epiphone and the Gibson Custom Shop. Price tag of $16.99. I'll tell you everything you need to know about this guitar. We'll put it on the bench and pull it apart before we plug it in. <laughs> But at the top, if you're in the market for this guitar or any other gear, remember to click to buy new gear using our link. You'll find that pinned in the comments or down in the description. And when you buy gear using our link, you're going to help us make these demos and you get fast free shipping and easy payment plans. Europe, we didn't forget you. Toman link is also down below. And also we're giving away an American made Martin acoustic when we hit 100,000 subscribers. To win that guitar, just hit subscribe now. You must be subscribed, turn on notifications, and then enter via Gleam also down below. All right, without further ado, let's take a look at the Firebird 5, two pickups, Maestro Vibrola, the whole works, and great colors. Let's take a first look now. All right, check that out. They're calling this finish Ember Red. Uh, just absolutely beautiful. True mother of pearl, trapezoid inlays, and an Indian laurel fretboard. You've got Gibson USA Firebird pickups, the layer tail piece, Maestro Vibrola, Epiphone stamped down below. They went with the real banjo tuners. Seems like it has a nice neck profile. We'll get measurements when we hit the bench. Uh, but just love some of the choices. They really went for the 1963 Firebird 5 vintage aesthetic, and I think they did a great job. You know, this guitar was designed by an auto designer, Ray Dietrich, and it's amazing what he came up with. To me, it is, is an odd bird, but it's a timeless design, and it has a sound all its own that you'll hear when we plug it in. And at the heart of this, you have Gibson's first neck through construction guitar. So it's one piece continuous of laminated walnut and mahogany all the way down through the butt of the guitar. And then you have these mahogany wings, which are essentially just glued on to that middle section. And that leads to a characteristic sound, as does these pickups, which I think sound fantastic. So let's hit the bench and take it apart before we plug it in. I'm super pumped about this one. And remember, if you're in the market for any gear, including the Firebird 5, click to buy our link. Let's hit the bench. All right, we got the iconic reverse Firebird headstock Epiphone on the truss rod cover, and they went with the banjo tuners. I love that. So it's actually going to be the experience of tuning up a like a left-handed guitar if you're right-handed. So it's a little awkward and takes some getting used to. We'll get a measurement on the neck profile. They went with Indian Laurel for the fretboard. I certainly wish, wish they would have used Rosewood, especially because they went with these beautiful Mother of Pearl trapezoid inlays, which look fantastic. You have a bound neck on this one, unbound on the Firebird 1. And then coming down to the body, you've got this ember red finish in gloss, two Gibson USA Firebird pickups, ABR1 style bridge, and the Maestro Vibrola tailpiece, Epiphone script, and Lear on the bottom as well. Iconic Firebird on here on the pickguard, three-way switch, and that's typical Gibson 4 controls. Let's get the strings out of the way and get some measurements. Nut comes in at 1.68 inches. First fret of 0.84 inches up to 0.98 inches at the 12th. A healthy medium, a little more meat on that neck. I really like the shape. Neck through construction, so you have laminated walnut and mahogany that comes all the way down to the butt of the guitar. And that center neck through construction comes in at 1.6 inches thick. And then you've got these comfort cut mahogany wings glued onto that body. Let's flip up this Firebird pickguard. See the routing done for the Firebird 5. It's going to include the additional routing for the three-way toggle. And then let's take a look at these pickups. you got Gibson USA Firebird pickups. Short lead, but you can see lead reissue Firebird with a patent number stamped on the back. Lots of vintage uh, recreated accuracy here. We'll flip on the multimeter and get a reading on the pickups. We're at 6.9 in bridge, 6.8 in neck, 3.4 combined. All right, let's lift up this control cavity cover, take a look. Hand-wired CTS 500K pots under the hood. I will say this is one of the better feeling tremolo arms I've played recently, and it just has a nice, tight, controlled feel to it. These Maestro Vibrola, typically this piece, like on a vintage guitar, would slide right off. And so I don't know if they have just a tight compression fitting or if they've welded this together as one unit, but it just feels like a nice, thick piece of steel or whatever this is, and it just gives you a lot of control while you're using it. This does feel heavier than the Firebird 1 for sure. Let's see where this clocks in. Oh yes, eight pounds on the nose. That compares to six and a half pounds on our Firebird 1. So eight pounds, not a terrible weight. Also considering you have all this hardware on here, I mean, it makes sense, right? And then flipping it around for an initial reaction, same neck profile as the Firebird 1. I love the, the snappy singing chime of a Firebird.
The Maestro Vibrola arm feels nice. It's it's like a nice tight action, and um, this this guitar feels great out of the box. If you're in the market for this guitar, click to buy using our link. It really does help us make these demos because we're about to get plugged in, and this is my favorite part. We're gonna show you clean tones, dirty it up, and then let it sing behind a track. On the other side of that, I'll give you my honest raw reaction to playing this Firebird 5, along with the final score. So drop a comment as we go. I'll see you on the other side of the playing demos, and uh, let's get to it.
All right, what did you think of the Epiphone Firebird 5? You stuck with me to the end, so I'll give you my honest reaction and a final score. I based that final score on three main things, overall playability, overall sound, and overall value. So let's kick that off now. First of all, when we talk about overall playability, just like the Firebird 1, it's got the same neck profile. It's a super comfortable neck. A Firebird is so easy to get up and down the neck because obviously nothing's in your way. Uh, the playability of this Maestro Vibrola, I'm going to give bonus points to because usually you hear Maestro Vibrola, you think it's going to go out of tune or it's going to be clumsy. This was like rock solid in terms of playability, so I really enjoyed that. Uh, Indian Laurel felt nice on this guitar. Nothing got in my way, and also compared to the Firebird 1, you've got a lot more sonic options, obviously, because you've got two pickups, Gibson USA pickups. We'll get to sound in a second, but I'll tell you, overall playability for what I was able to get out of this guitar, I'm gonna score it high. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.4 on overall playability. Then when it comes to sound, I really do like the sound of these Gibson USA pickups, and of course, having two pickups instead of one, to me, the Firebird 5 is like the epitome of a Firebird. That is the perfect uh, configuration for a Firebird having both pickups. And just sonically, I really do enjoy what the Maestro Vibrola added, not only in terms of playability, but what the Vibrola added to in sound. It gives you just a little bit. It's not something you're gonna dive bomb with, but it's just got this nice tight kind of feel that I really enjoyed. This, it sounded really nice too. It gave a little bit of extra texture and variety too. Overall sound, I got nothing to complain about. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 9.2 in overall sound. And then overall value, in terms of this new collaboration between the Gibson Custom Shop and Epiphone, the Firebird 1 at $12.99 is less dollars, right? And this one is more expensive, certainly it's $16.99. So you've gotta ask the question, are you getting what you pay for? I'll tell you, at $16.99 with the hard shell case, the two Gibson USA pickups, this really nice Maestro Vibrola, the banjo tuners, on and on, all the features. Uh, it's not the best value out there, but it's a good value. The, I would actually tell you that it is a better value to get the Firebird 5 at $16.99 than it is to get the Firebird 1 at $12.99 for a whole, a whole host of reasons. Even cosmetically at this price, you're getting these Mother of Pearl, real Mother of Pearl trapezoid inlays, which I can really see. They had Mother of Pearl dots on the Firebird 1, which look cool, but you can't really tell what you're looking at. And also you have things like the neck binding on the Firebird 5. So it's a step up in every way. It is more expensive, but to me, this is nailing what a Firebird 5 should be. For all those reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 on overall value. And that's gonna leave us with a solid overall score of 9.0. Of the two, I've gotta tell you, I think I would hand it to the Firebird 5. I think even though it's more expensive, it's the better buy. It gives you more options sonically. Let me know what you think in the comments. And when you're ready to buy any gear, like this Firebird 5, click to buy using our link. You'll find that pinned in the comments or down in the description. In the States, you'll get fast free shipping, easy payment plans. It makes buying new gear super easy. Trust me, way too easy actually. Uh, but that's the fun of it. And in Europe, you can use our Toman link also down below. Thanks for watching, for playing trade guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera. We'll see you on the next video. Check out one of these demos next.